Hello. Happy Monday. So Schminke released six dot cards. I thought it was four originally. It's six. A few months ago. I think it was back in, I want to say like maybe January they released them. And I picked up three of them. I picked up lights, darks, and exclusives, I think. They also did a um, super granulating dot card. I've got all those colors though. I didn't get it. And they've done a blues and a greens. I have been looking for those two. So far they only seem to be available at Jackson's and I haven't done a Jackson's order recently so I don't have them. So we are going to be swatching out the final Schmincke card I have, which is the dark colors. As with the last two, I haven't looked at the list of colors that are in this. I might have them, I might not. I don't actually have that many Schmincke colors, so I don't think I have them. We're going to swatch them, we're going to look at them, we're going to see which ones I would add to my palette. Let's get into this. I do have to say, I love these sheets. I've been using them as desk protectors when I've been doing ink stuff and re-inking pens they're great. So much like, oh, okay. So first row is uh, like pinks, reds, and oranges. Second row is blues and teals. Third row is greens, browns, and blacks. So let's start this. So quinacridone gold hue, PY150, PR101. I don't have the Schmincke version. I have a lot of others in my palette. Um, I'm not in love, but I know that. Like, I don't love the PR101 in quinacridone gold hue. It's just not my thing. Transparent red deep, PR144. I like it quite a lot. I don't actually have, I don't think I've got a PR144 in my palette actually, which is rare, but. Then we have Paraline Maroon. I don't love this color normally. It's PR179. Um, I don't hate it as much as some of them. It's got a nice texture to it. I don't like this as much as it's drying. It's drying quite orange. Ruby Red Deep, PR264. I feel like this was also in the exclusive colors card. I feel like I've seen this before. I may be wrong though. I feel like I've seen it before though. I like it. It's a great color. I know I like it. I like the pigment. To begin with, Matter Red Dark is PV19, PR179. Oh, such a pretty pink. I'm a fan of hot pinks. Do I use them a bunch? No. Do I absolutely love them? Yes. Quinacridone Violet, PV19. I don't love this color. I find it sort of obnoxiously purple. It's like phthalo. Um, it just sort of overtakes stuff you mix it with, I find. Paraline Violet. <laughs> I have so many versions of this color because theoretically I should love it and I don't. Um, the Schminke version though, I do like. My issue with Paraline Violet is that it looks really pretty wet and then I feel like it dries down and looks all gross. I don't know if other people feel the same way about it. That's just how I feel. Neutral tint is PR122, PB60, and PBK7. Oh, I like that mix. Oh, I think I really like this color. Well, Schmincke, I might be adding your neutral tint to my palette. I love how pink undertoned it is. It doesn't remind me of a neutral tint. It's like too pink for a neutral tint, but it's really pretty. It's not neutral enough to be a neutral tint. 
for me, but I love it. Schmincke Violet. I have this in my palette. It's PV23. I don't love PV23. I think Schmincke Violet, though, is a fine version of it and re-wets really nicely. So I do like it. Delph Blue PB60. I think I've added this to my list of things I want. So I think this was on the exclusive card. I think there are some on this that were on the exclusive. Um, I don't actually know where the exclusive is in the studio though to check. And then we have Cobalt Blue Deep. I think this was on the exclusive too because I said it, that it wasn't, I didn't find it different enough from a Cobalt Blue to have in my palette. Yeah, like it's not, I wouldn't call it a deep. I'd call it a cobalt blue. Payne's gray bluish. I'd say Payne's gray is already pretty blue. So yeah, um, this looks, which is PBK6 and PB15.6, yeah. Um, those are already pretty standard colors for a Payne's gray. And this isn't much more blue than some other Payne's grays that I've got. Um, that being said, it does remind me more of a 31 purple fish color than some other stuff. And it <laughs> seems to granulate more than some of the super granulating colors. So if you want like a fun dark blue gray color, they also granulates. There you go. Paris Blue, PB15, PB15.1, and PB27. Okay. I don't know that I love it, but I also don't hate it. Helio Turquoise. Again, I feel like I've seen this before, but maybe I saw Helio Blue. Is PB... PB16. I don't know that I've got a PB16 in my palette. Well, I could star just because it's odd. I do like it. It reminds me of uh, Azure Blue by White Knights minus the granulation. Cobalt Green Turquoise PB36. Love this color. I have the Cosmic Creations version. I use it all the time in mixes. It is great for granulating colors. It's really fun if you mix it with Potter's Pink. And actually, it's really fun if you mix it with almost everything. I don't think I've found something that I dislike mixing it with, which is rare. Prussian Green PG7 PB70. No, PB60. I can read. Ooh, that's fun. So I don't like Prussian blue as a color. I enjoy the fact though that Prussian green does not contain Prussian blue. <laughs> Prussian green is um, thalocene green and um, my words are gone. Um, I was right. Okay. Indenthrum. I was going, it starts with an I. It's Indenthrum. Blue. Uh, Cobalt Green Dark, PG26. Again, I really like this color. I think it's already on the list of colors I plan to add to my palette because it's fun and I only have a handmade shop version. And I try to have a handmade version and a large shop version of any pigment that comes up frequently in granulating mixes just because sometimes you get different results. And I think it's interesting to compare the two. Hooker's green, least favorite green, I don't, <laughs> don't actually have one of these in my palette 
PB153, PG7, PY42. Somebody actually asked after the sap green video if I do a hooker's green video and I had to admit that hooker's green is my least favorite green out of all the greens. So much so that I don't have a single one in my palette. Not one. In the entire palette, there is not one Harker's Green. I just don't like it as a green. Paraline Green, PBK31. I have many of this color in my palette. I would say that the 32 version is probably my favorite version. The 31 version is still pretty, but there's just something about the 32 version that is absolutely stunning. Raw Umber, PBR7 slash PY42. I don't know why they have a slash. I don't know if it's because it can be either pigment Whereas the other times that things are mixed, there's just a space. I couldn't quite figure that out. And the Schminke website translation from English to, from German to English is not super great on all the pages. Kaput Mortem. Oh no, Indian Red is what they're calling it. PR101, PR206. So this is the normal Kaput Mortem pigment with quinacridone maroon in it. Okay. I don't know why you wouldn't have it just the single pigment. I had that issue with a couple of the colors in the last dot card as well, where they seem like they should just be single pigment colors and they weren't. Okay, same here. Van Dyke Brown is NBR8. I want to say like genuine Van Dyke Brown is NBR8. Um, <laughs> this Van Dyke Brown is PY150, PBR7, and PBK7. and does not have the right texture for Van Dyke Brown. Uh, Van Dyke Brown is much more granular. The nice thing about Van Dyke Brown is, in my opinion, how much it granulates. Um, this is an M. Neutral Gray, PR255, PB60, PO62, okay. And then Lamp Black, which is PBK6. I have this in my palette. I love it. It's one of my favorite blacks. It was quite hard to find when I needed it for the Schmincke video, but I was finally able to find it, and it is a great black. So. Let's go through what I love. I love... This red, I love this red. I love this neutral tint. I don't know, see, I like this when it goes down. It dries flat. I don't like how it dries. That's my issue with all of them. This cobalt blue deep isn't any darker than a normal cobalt blue and like is sort of lighter than a cobalt blue. Like, I don't see the point. Uh, Helio Turquoise, I do actually genuinely like. Prussian Green, I do like. I uh, don't, I think I've already got, but sh no, I don't have, but I like. Um, no, it's too bright. I have several. I don't use them enough to justify another one, 
That being said, it is quite a nice version. Raw Umber. I don't get the pigment number for this. It's got a slash between the two. Also, like, one thing, I talked about this in the last video, I don't like how lots of, like, standard single pigment numbers Shiminke has as mixes. I don't see the point. It just sort of feels gross. So, no. Same with Kaput Mortem Indian Red. Normally this would be PR101 or PR102. Instead, they've added Quinacridone Maroon to it. Same with Van Dyke Brown. Like, none of these are normally the pigment number for Van Dyke Brown. I don't mind Neutral Gray. And I've got Lamp Black. So overall, we're continuing the pattern of like five to six colors per dot card um, being what I enjoy. I do think there are some repeats from this one and the last one or the first one, but I find this too yellow for a Quinn Gold. This is too orange. I just don't love Paraline Maroon. I like, I like. I've got two in my palette and I don't love it. I, do, I love it when it goes down. I don't like how it dries. I already have, it's probably one of the best versions of the pigment that I've got in my palette. It's just not my favorite purple. I've ranted about purples before. I like convenience mix purples where they granulate, they do fun things more than this. I don't love flat purples. Uh, I'm sort of meh. I dislike this because it doesn't seem any darker. Like I get that they're using, yeah, they're using the PB74 pigment. Um, Roman Smalls does a better version. I will leave it at that. The Roman Smalls Cobalt Blue Deep is a better version of Cobalt Blue Deep. Payne's Gray Bluish. I would never use it. It's too blue. Paris Bloom combines three pigments that I dislike. Helio Turquoise, I quite like. Cobalt Green Turquoise. I have a version I like more. Prussian Green. I've never seen before and I really like. Cobalt Green Dark. I only have a handmade version and I like to have a version that's handmade and a large brand version. Hooker's Green Dark. I don't have a single Hooker's Green in my palette. It's just not my shade of green. Paraline Green. If I didn't have a bunch of other Paraline Greens, probably. Um, raw Umber. I don't get why Raw Umber's on this card. Except if it, like, it, I think it was on the last card as well. So it has appeared on both lights and darks. And I'm not sure I understand that. Um, could put more to Indian Red. There are other versions I like more. Uh, the texture of it in this section, though, is quite nice. Van Dyke Brown. There are better versions. Neutral gray, I actually quite like. It's quite like a flat gray that is exactly what it says. Lamp black I have in my palette, it's great. Let's see if I can find the other dot card. Oh, I have them sitting beside me on the floor. Fantastic. So, in the exclusive colors, We can't fit both full cards on the screen. Um, good enough. We have Delph Blue, Cobalt Green Turquoise, and Cobalt Green Dark. And those are the only ones.
Ah, it was the cobalt light that I, like, yeah, it doesn't seem to be very light. And then for the light colors, we have none because it was raw sienna with the same oh no not the same uh this is py42 this is py43 but again the same thing where they're normally not pigment mixes and they are in this case and everything else is different Okay, so not as many duplicates as I thought. Really, the exclusive colors has more duplicates. Because um, it also has duplicates of the yellows with the lights. So if I was going to get two, I think I would get lights and darks. Because there are less duplicates. Whereas exclusives, you have Duplicates with both cards. Where if you get these ones, you have no duplicates. I think. Yeah. So, there we go. Um, again, frustrated that raw sienna and raw umber aren't single pigments. Because normally they are. But there were lots of colors in this light colors one where I had that issue if you go back and watch it where norm like they're using standard pigment names where normally they'd be single pigment colors but they aren't in the Schmincke line and I find that really annoying because you don't always want to look at pigment numbers on everything if you're buying a standard color you shouldn't have to um, if you're you know buying burnt umber it should just be PBR7 uh, in my opinion so thanks for watching there will be more dark card videos because I genuinely enjoy them and they tend to do well and I think they're really helpful I tend to watch them when I'm looking at buying new paints and I hope you find them helpful so, thanks for watching.